how, how does someone claim asylum if they've got a passport, a visa, and a legitimate route from their country? How do they claim that they are persecuted in those circumstances when we all know that the people who are persecuted are often the ones who are without documentation, without the passport, without the permission of their country to leave? Well, I think on this point, I mean, those that are documented, they cannot... I mean, Lord Blunkett, you've already mentioned if they've got visas, if they've got legal documentation. That is simply, I mean, not... And we do have a process, we have clear processes around asylum and they're going to change your new plans for immigration. Our focus has to be on those that we want to give support to, we need to give support to, who are fleeing persecution, who are undocumented. We recognise that they are undocumented, but it is through, and you'll be familiar with many of the previous asylum processes, how we now change our interview processes, how we effectively ensure that we are granting asylum to those that are genuine asylum seekers, not those who turn up at primary control points, at our airports, and basically then effectively it requires special case working through border force to say here I am with all my documentation and I'm here seeking asylum. That is simply not right. But I just get the impression that if you are properly documented and you've been able to come in your terms Home Secretary legally you'll not be granted asylum because you're clearly not at risk whereas if you're at risk and you've escaped and you don't have the documentation you will not be admissible and you'll get temporary uh, permission to be here.